Hi students. How are you? Fine. Okay, thank you. Last class, I explained some interesting specific heat activity. So in this class, this is also interesting activity. Because in this lesson, next topics, principle of method of mixtures. Okay, children? Principle of method of mixture. When two bodies mixing, what is the final temperature? When two bodies mixing, what is the final quantity? So, these topics we will be discussing in this chapter. Okay, let me start. So, in this principle of method of mixture, please listen carefully. There are three situations. One is case one. It means situation one. Same size. Say anybody. 200 ml. Same size. Two beaker. Same size. Its quantity 200 ml. 200 ml. Okay, children. Now, these beakers heat up to 60 degrees Celsius. This beaker also heat up to heated up to 60 degrees Celsius. What do you what do you have understand? Same size, same quantity, same heat, same temperature, same mass, same temperature in this case. What is the final mixture of temperature? What is the final mixture of temperature? How can you find it? Okay. I will explain. Next. Another. Previous case. Same size. Same temperature. So in this situation. I mean in this case. Case 2. This is situation. Two. So in this case, again two beakers. Again two beakers. Now same. This is 100 ml. And in this beaker filled with again 100 ml. 200 ml or 100 ml. My mother is coach. Okay. So this first beaker is heated up to 90 degrees Celsius. This second beaker heated up to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, students. So, in this case, same mass, different temperatures. What is the first case? Same mass, same temperature. What is the second case? Same mass, different temperatures. Now, again, these two beakers of water poured into large beaker. What is the final temperature? What is the final quantity? How do you decide? What is the final temperature of principle of method of mixture? How do you find it? This is situation 2. Means case 2. So case 3. What is case 3 students? Different mass. Say 100 ml. It is 200 ml. Now different mass of these substances. In this beaker 100 ml of water. In this beaker 200 ml of water. Then heat up 90 degrees Celsius. This beaker. This beaker heated up. 60 degrees Celsius. Sorry. 60 degrees Celsius. So 90 degrees Celsius. 60 degrees Celsius. So in this case. Temperature different. Mm, mass is also different. So what is the final mixture of temperature? So these two beakers poured into. Mixing into larger beaker. 
What the mass? 100 ml, 200 ml. How much? 4, 400? No. 300 ml. Okay. What is the final temperature? 90, 60, 150. Not. Not 150. This is the, these two temperatures averaging. 90 plus 60. What is 90 plus 60? 90 plus 60, 150 by 2. 150 by 2 means 75 degrees Celsius. It is the final temperature of mixture. It is the final mixing of quantity. So, how can you decide this? Mirala chippe. Yala yabra chayigaligan. How do you find it? So many questions rise and learn. Rise in your mind. Okay, students. I will derive this principle of method of mixture. Generally, what is principle of method of mixture? There are two bodies. Means two bodies are brought into thermal contact. Runitni kalipendi. Then heat lost by hot bodies. Yakare the hot body unto do a hot body ka heat to lamasai pod then. Then cold body gain that heat energy. Net means total. Net heat lost by hot bodies is equal to net heat gain by cold bodies. And hot body loss in at one heat ni e cold body e just the gain just kundi. Then finally heat lost by hot bodies is equal to heat gained by cold bodies. How do you find it? what is the equation of principle of method of mixture? What is the final temperature of these two beakers? These two beakers of water poured into larger beaker. What is the larger beaker of temperature? How will you derive one formula? That formula I will derive in this class. Okay students, please listen. This is the final temperature. In, in our physical science, in heat lesson, this principle of method of mixture, there are three situations. First situation, same mass. Hmm. Tell me. Same mass, same temperature. What is the second situation? Same mass, Hmm. Different temperature. What is the third situation? Different mass. Hmm. Different temperature. Okay students. It is very very important. So what is the final mixing of temperature? What is the final mixing of temperature? Okay let us start. Let us start. Now consider, now consider third situation. That means case 3. In case 3, let us case 3. What is case 3? What is this? 200 ml. What is this? 100 ml. This heat up 90 degrees Celsius. This heat up 60 degrees Celsius. What else maybe? 100 ml, 200 ml. Man, I like this coach. Okay? Let us start. So, let this temperature, hot or cold? Definitely our answer, hot. Because it is higher temperature, it is lower temperature. Compared to these, this is higher temperature, this is lower temperature. Higher temperature means hot body. Lower temperature means cold body. So let us consider T1 is first temperature, T2 it is second temperature. These two beakers of water mixed into larger beaker that is mixing temperature is called T. Mixing temperature is called T. Okay students, this mixing temperature T is greater is greater than T2. 
అని అండర్స్టాండ్ ఎప్పుడు కూడా మిక్సింగ్ టెంపరేచర్ అనేది ఈ లోయర్ టెంపరేచర్ కంటే తక్కువ ఉంటుంది అని అర్థమైంది గ్రేటర్ అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంటండి ఎక్కువ టీస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ టీ టూ టీ టూ కంటే టీ అనేది ఎక్కువ ఎప్పుడు మిక్సింగ్ టెంపరేచర్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుందా లోయర్ టెంపరేచర్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుందా మిక్సింగ్ టెంపరేచర్ వాట్ అబౌట్ టీ వన్ టీ వన్ ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ టీ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ మిక్సింగ్ టెంపరేచర్ ఫస్ట్ టెంపరేచర్ మిక్సింగ్ టెంపరేచర్ ఫస్ట్ టెంపరేచర్ ఇన్ దిస్ టూ విచ్ వన్ ఈస్ మోర్ టెంపరేచర్ టీ ఆర్ టీ వన్ టీ వన్ సో వాట్ ఈ ఫైనల్ టీ వన్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ టీ టీ ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ టీ టూ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో టీ వన్ in these two t1 is higher t2 t in these two t is higher that's why t is greater than t2 t1 is greater than t okay students it is very very important so this is 90 degrees celsius this is 60 degrees celsius now let us consider case 3 already i considered uh, case 3 condition so let us start hot sample means hot body already previous class means part 3 heat lesson i will explain one formula what is that heat energy formula q is equal to ms delta t please listen students q is equal to ms delta t it means hot sample hot sample means first beaker first beaker means heat energy first heat energy q1 what is this m m means m1 first mass s means specific heat already previous class i explained it what is that what is s specific heat what are the quantity of what are the substance of in this case 1 2 3 water so water specific heat is constant that's why s is s same what is delta t change in temperature delta t means change in temperature so what is the this one first case so first jar first beaker this is t1 already i told you t1 is greater than t in these two what is the hotter temperature t1 what is the lower temperature in these two cases t so t1 minus t so here delta t means t1 minus t endukandi delta t means change in temperature from hot body to cold body higher temperature to lower temperature heat is a form of energy it can be transferred from one form to another form higher energy to lower energy what is the higher energy in this case t1 what is the lower energy in this case t heat energy so that's why m1 s t1 minus t so this is equation 1 that is hot sample okay students and next one second what is second one what is second one cold sample what is cold sample larger beaker no second beaker what is the second beaker temperature t2 again by using this formula what is that formula q is equal to ms delta t again you take okay what is q heat energy in that case hot sample say 1 in this case cold sample q2 q so m means here m1 hot sample here cold sample means m2 already i told you yes what is s specific heat s is constant so s is s s is same don't change our specific heat next delta t uh, it is very very important delta t changing temperature what is this case in case three second condition what is the second condition 
cold sample cold sample means lower temperature lower temperature means t2 what is the mixing of temperature t in this two which one is more heat and gt so t is greater than t2 so in this case what is the higher temperature t what is the lower temperature t2 that's why higher temperature to lower temperature so t minus t2 this is the equation 2 okay children so please listen please listen hot sample q1 is equal to m1 s into t1 minus t equation 1 cold sample q2 is equal to m2 into s into t minus t2 this is equation 2 now now these two equations are equal because already i told heat energy heat lost by hot bodies is equal to heat gained by cold bodies that's why net heat lost hot bodies is equal to net heat gain cold bodies now let us consider these two equations equal okay let us start let us start let us start what is the first equation what is the first equation q1 is equal to q2 first equation m1 yes what is the higher temperature first case t1 minus t oh, what is this m m2 yes yes a hmm delta t ela varutundi t minus hmm t2 so now these two equations are equal because heat lost by hot bodies is equal to heat gained by cold bodies okay students please listen please listen it is very very important derivation of principle of method of mixture it is very 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 important in our public examinations endukante the inch manaki oka two marks question alage the inch problems kodi istarandi so very important children please listen so m1 please listen carefully m1 so here yes here yes specific it all specific it's all same so that's why s s cancel so now multiply with m1 in this bracket m1 into t1 m1 t1 minus m1 into t m1 t that equal m2 into t m2 t minus m2 into t2 m2 t2 okay students what is this m1 t1 ikkada chudandi minus m2 t2 e power vaste plus m2 t2 that equal to what is this m2 t already the pakku chestunna kada inge migilindi idi so remaining in this case in this side minus m1 t ikkada unda minus m1 t aa pakkante plus m1 t ipudu chudandi ipudu chudandi m1 t1 plus m2 t2 is equal to ikkada em undandi t ikkada em undandi t so t is common common thing so remaining m1 plus m2 so in this equation what is the required quantity t what is t method of mixture mixing the temperature so that's why m1 chapali as is t1 plus m2 t2 by ikkada undi ikkada vachestundi m1 plus m2 what is the remaining term t what is the t final temperature so children this is the principle of method of mixture of formula so what is the formula t is equal to hmm, m1 t1 plus m2 t2 by m1 plus m2 it is the the two beakers water are mixed into poured into larger beaker of final temperature by using how to derive how to derive by using this formula what is this formula m1 t1 plus m2 t2 by m1 plus m2 it is very very important in our public examination thank you students thank you this is a formula for resultant temperature of a mixture principle of method of mixtures When two or more bodies at different temperatures are brought into thermal contact, 
the net heat lost by the hot bodies is equal to net heat gained by the cold bodies until they attain thermal equilibrium. So if heat, net heat lost is equal to net heat gain. This is known as this is the principle of method of mixture. Choose a students. E video ni, definition video ni. When two bodies are in thermal contact, net heat lost by hot bodies is equal to net heat gained by cold bodies. By using this formula, we will find next another question. What is that question? That is interesting question. That is in our physics, in our physics textbook, every lesson has one lab activity. So in this lesson also, heat lesson also, one lab activity is there. What is that lab activity? What is that aim? What are the need of that operators? Okay, let us find out. To find specific heat of solid. Okay, children. Here solid is taken as lead shots. Lead shots are iron, gold, anyone. And solid iron. Okay. So, what are the operators in this uh, lab activity? One is calorie meter, thermometer. What is calorie meter? Calorie meter is a substance to measure the amount of heat involved in chemical reaction. And what the children? Chemical reaction will involve of the heat in measure what substance or operator may be. Calorie meter. Sun thermometer. What is thermometer? To measure the temperature. Already, do you know? Because it's. And stirrer. Stirrer is a just like. Okay, get like it. Mix it like And water. And steam heater. E water man. Alert shots. Heat it like Monkey. Other side, one steam heater. Again, wooden box. Wooden box is very important. This calorimeter is placed into, placed in, for example, this is calorimeter, uh, wooden box. In this wooden box, calorimeter is kept. Because no heat loss. In wooden box, petrol balla, you can surrounding heat to buy the kicker. Okay. And lead shots already I told or iron bolt. What is the aim of this lab activity? To find specific heat of solid. Okay, students. Please listen carefully. It is very, 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 very important lab activity. How will find? How will derive? I will explain in this. Okay, now students, calorie meter. First, you take one calorie meter to measure that calorie meter mass. So, mass of the calorie meter is equal to something T1. So, mass means M1. Mass of the calorimeter is equal to M1. This is mass of the calorimeter, Mt calorimeter. That is called M1. And slowly, in this calorimeter, pour some water. One third. Pour some water. Again, we measure the mass of the calorimeter. Now, Mass of the calorie meter plus water also. That is called M2. Okay. Mass of the calorie meter M1. Mass of the calorie meter with water M2. So, children, tell what is the mass of only water? Do you know? Yes. Only mass of the water means you can subtract in this 
mark to this mass. So then finally m2 minus m1. What is m2 minus m1? Only water like a mass. What is m2? Calorie meter with water. What is m1? That is empty calorie meter. Okay, children. So this is very very important. M1 means calorie meter mass. M2 means calorie meter with water mass. M3, sorry, M2 minus M1 means only mass of the water. Okay. So now we will measure the temperatures. We will measure the temperature. What is the initial temperature of calorie meter? T1. Calorie meter is equal to T1. What is this temperature of calorie meter? T1. Okay, students. Temperature of calorie meter and temperature of water. This is also T1. Because initially, temperature of water and calorie meter are equal. Okay, students. Now, Especially other sign, you will take one uh, heater, something heater. In this heater, in this heater, some lead shots. Lead shots. This is lead shots. E lead shots ni okay heater this ni a heater lo Up to 100 degrees Celsius heated. Okay, students. This lead shots like a temperature. This lead source of temperature T2. Okay. Temperature of calorie meter T1. Temperature of water also T1. Because water and calorie meter are same equal temperature. And one take one heater, steam heater. In that heater, mm, some lead shots is there. That lead shots are heated up to 100 degrees Celsius. That temperature is called T2. Okay, students. T2 means temperature of lead shots. It is very, very hot lead shots. So, hot lead shots temperature T2. Okay. So, these lead shots, these lead shots, these lead shots quickly, and it's a fast gun, quickly transferred into this calorie meter. Then that temperature is called T3. What is T3? Hmm. Temperature of what is this? Calorie meter hmm. plus water plus what is this? Lead shots. So total all contents mixture temperature is T3. Okay, students. A heater low man lead shot is going to be quickly transferred into calorie meter. We said, our mottam temperature, mixing temperature is called T3. Okay, students. Now, I will ask one question. Which temperature is more? I will ask. For example, calorie meter, calorie meter, temperature. Initial temperature T1. Mixing temperature. Mixing temperature means this one. T3. In these two, which one is more temperature? Which one is more temperature? Obviously, your answer is correct. T3. Because calorie meter, temperature of initial calorie meter. Initial calorimeter means empty calorimeter. Empty calorimeter temperature T1. There is no lead shots. There is no heat because this is empty. That is T1. After some time, that lead shots transfer into this calorimeter, then that temperature is called T3. So that's why in these two, T3 is more. Okay, students. What is delta T? What is delta T of this calorimeter? Higher temperature T3 minus lower temperature T1. Okay, students. 
it is very 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 important okay now again water what is the what is the temperature of water initial temperature t1 mixing temperature t3 in these two water also t3 is more because initially water temperature t1 there is no heat then the electrons transferred into that calorimeter and water then that water is temperature t3 so calorimeter water temperature are same already I told okay students so now quickly transfer into lead shots in this calorimeter then what happened please listen carefully eppudu then who lead shots vesevo aa heat loss taipot yakkada lost avutundi yavar heat lost avutundi lead shots da water da calorimeter da hmm lead shots so net heat lost by what what is hot bodies is equal to net heat gain net heat gain by yavaru cold bodies so in this activity in this activity lost of heat loss of heat with substance lead shots ఈ లాస్ట్ అయిన లెట్ షార్ట్స్ ని ఎవరు గెయిన్ చేసుకున్నారు కోల్డ్ బాడీ వాట్ ఇస్ కోల్డ్ బాడీస్ యాక్ట్ యాస్ వాటర్ అండ్ కెలోరీ మీటర్ ఓకే స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆల్్రెడీ ఐ టోల్డ్ యు ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ పార్ట్ 3 వీడియో దట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ది హీట్ ఎనర్జీ ఫార్ములా q is equal to m plus delta t నౌ అగైన్ అప్లై by using that formula what is that formula mm. ms delta t that is equal to what is this water ms delta t what is this calorimeter that is also ms delta t now let us know what is this heat energy heat energy formula ms delta t what is this act as lead shots so lead shots mass of the lead shots what is the mass of the lead shots already i told you starting initial calorimeter mass m1 calorimeter with water mass m2 so calorimeter water lead shots total mass it is mixing mass means m3 what is required lead shots mass what is the mass of the lead shots m3 minus m2 this is the lead shots ekka mass avutundi so mass of the lead shots m3 minus m2 m3 means mixing mass m2 means calorimeter with water m3 means calorimeter water lead shots only lead shots mass m3 minus m2 okay students so in this m3 minus m2 so lead shots mass m3 minus m2 what is this what is this yes what is the s specific heat what is specific heat lead shots means l so l is indicated lead shots s is indicated specific heat then finally s l is specific heat of lead shots what is delta t change in temperature hot lead shots hot lead shots t2 mixing lead shots temperature t3 so in both are what is the higher temperature t3 or t2 yes t2 so higher temperature t2 minus lower temperature t3 here t3 is mixing temperature t2 is actual temperature actual temperature is more than mixing temperature that's why higher temperature to lower temperature means t2 minus t3 okay students that equal to here m m also mass mass means first time on the water so mass of the water already i told m2 minus m1 what is s specific heat water means sir sw means specific heat of water what is delta t change in 
temperature. Already I told you, change in temperature, total mixing temperature. T3 minus starting temperature, T1 higher temperature, 2 lower temperature. Plus, what is M? Mass. Again, what is the mass? Calorimeter. Calorimeter mass starting. Ah, M1. What is S? Specific heat. This calorimeter means C. C means calorimeter. S means specific heat. SC means specific heat of calorimeter. What is delta T? Change in temperature. Already I told you. Initially, uh, calorimeter temperature, water temperature are equal. That's why this is T3 minus T1. This is also T3 minus T1. Okay, students. So, M3 minus M2 as this, SL as this, T2 minus T3 could have been ready. That equal to here, here, T3 minus T1, T3 minus T1. What is the common factor? T3 minus T1. So, remaining terms, M2 minus M1. SW, it is taken in already, plus, mm, it already removed the property, common is the property, remaining terms, M1. So please listen students. Please see this. Uh, yes, sir means specific heat of lead source. To find specific heat of solid means lead source. So the is equal to already removed. T3 minus T1 into mm, M2 minus M1 SW plus M1 SC. Whole by these two terms turn into that side. It will just say. So, what is that terms? M3 minus M2 into what is this? T2 minus T3. So, students, please listen carefully. Yes, that means let shorts. Specific key term, let shorts. E formula use this find out. So, by using this formula, we will find the specific key term solid let shorts. Okay, students, if you have a video, you can watch the careful video. Okay? Okay. Calorie meter. The exchange of heat depends on three factors. First, mass of the substance or M. Second, specific heat of the substance or S. Third, difference in the temperature of the substances or T. We use calorie meter to find the specific heat of the substance. A calorie meter is a cylindrical copper container kept inside a wooden box. The space between the container and the wooden box is filled with cork sawdust, glass or wool. That is basically a substance which is a non-conductor. The wooden container has a lid inserted with a stirrer and it also has a thermometer. A measured mass of water is taken in the calorie meter and its temperature is noted T1. The substance whose specific heat is to be found is heated up to temperature T2 and then transferred to the calorie meter. The water in the calorie meter is stirred and the final temperature of the mixture T3 is found. With the help of mathematical formula, heat lost is equal to heat gained, we can calculate the specific heat of the substance. Okay students, video na watch sir kadani. So, e formula use chesi, a video dwara me true sir kadani. So, last e formula use chesi ma, e specific heat of solid ni ma measure change. Thank you students, we shall meet next online class, stay home, stay safe.